in Pune and after that thrilling tie in Visakhapatnam, which way is momentum if at all India have reinforced their squad with their premier pace bowlers. So let's ask Ajit Agarkar and Phil Simmons whether they'd make any changes to that uh, to their respective teams. Ajit, let's start with you. The return of Bhuvaneshwar and Bumrah, I'm assuming they slot straight back into your 11 and would you find room for three seamers in Pune? Uh, ideally, yes, but the way Indian batting's at the moment uh, built, okay, Virat Kohli played that exceptional innings in that second one day, but otherwise they would have required that seven batter the way it's gone. So, uh, yeah, that, I, you know, like I said, ideally three seamers and two wrist spinners would be the way to go, but looks like they need that little bit more insurance with uh, Ravindra Jadeja at the moment, who's the only only all rounder in the team, and uh, yeah. Mumra and Bhuvaneshwar Kumar uh, for all that extended rest that they've had. Uh, come back in. So, unfortunately, uh, Umesh Yadav miss out and Shami is already out of the squad. So, yeah, uh, yeah three spinners and two seamers seem, seem like the way to go for India at the moment. It takes a couple of games in a bilateral series, Phil, to figure out perhaps your best 11. Now, in the evidence of the two games and how well the West Indies batted, are there personnel changes? You thought maybe Fabian Allen could have got to go, but Ashley Nurse did bowl well in the game in Visakhapatnam. And between Obed McCoy and uh, O'Shane Thomas, where do you stand? I think I think you would have to go in with the same team as the last game, because of of, of the performance, a tied match. You don't, you don't want to make changes of, to that. Let's have a look at what the West Indians are going to look like, and they're also lining up out here. And uh, this is what they played in this eleven. McCoy here. You think he did his job today for the West Indians? He's got uh, those variations which are required for for white ball cricket. You know, he bowls that back of the hand delivery. He he could have almost uh, got Virat Kohli out with that uh, slower one, and uh, and the whole the scenario of the match would have been completely different. But I think uh, all in all, uh, looks good prospect. I'm I'm impressed with O'Shane Thomas as well. So uh, and Roach has been bowling well in this match. Uh, Holder captain himself has playing that all rounder role. So role so that that kind of uh, achieves that balance in the side as well. Just for the Indian point of view, I mean, the viewers might not like this because, you know, we love watching Virat Kohli bat. <laughs> but what you could do is you've got a Rishabh Pant who's a young man and uh, say Ambati Raidu has just come back. You could probably have them bat at a different number and the guys who are at the top come back and bat. So you, they're still in the side, you don't change the whole side. But you have the op these young kids, if you're giving opportunities to Umesh Yadav and Shami now to develop, which you've done after 5-10 years. That is what you need to be done, even with Rishabh Pant and Raidu. And Raidu's got enough time today, but I'm saying Rishabh Pant, MS can probably bat up the order one game, and Virat and Rohit or one of them can go back. So th you can play differently as well. You don't need to change players, because ultimately if you're going to take these players, say MS Dhoni, uh, Rishabh Pant and whoever you're going to take in the World Cup, you want to take them with a lot of confidence, with some runs behind them, with a little feel of the game. Because, you know, Virat Kohli, Shikhar Dhawan and Rohit Sharma uh, just don't give anybody an opportunity <laughs> at the end. Then the numbers start looking bad. So, if you want to make a side, if everybody is in that form, it'll look better. For a viewer, he might not enjoy it because we'll miss out on Virat Kohli batting on that day. He won't even come to bat. But to build a side, you need to do keep doing these things. I just think that um, the person that needs to put their hand up in this case is Bishu because I think he's the main bowler in the middle there. 
and Ashley you know, showed what he can do. And if he continues that, then Bishu needs to stand up and, and, and help the bowlers. It seems like, Ajit, that at this time of year, whoever uh, wins the toss should ideally just chase with the way chasings looked, unless Pune might give us something else to wonder. Yeah, I mean, again, it will depend on the pitch, but, uh, you know, sort of winter, well, early winter setting everywhere, yeah. you get a little bit of dew in any case in the evening. So, it makes the job of the bowlers harder, spinners even more so, where when there's suddenly the ball doesn't grip, it's a different ball game with, uh, with the kind of rules for five fielders in the ring. So, yeah, I, I, I don't think Virat Kohli is going to be batting first unless it's a complete uh, minefield, uh, mm. especially with the way West Indies have batted in both games. Uh, one's batting first and the other time chasing. They, they seem to have uh, yeah. really dangerous batsmen who can win the game on their own. So, yeah, I'd be very surprised if uh, either of the teams want to bat first. Uh, the Windies seem to be ticking more and more boxes with each game, Phil. But what's something that's missing for them to just get the result they want? What's one thing you'd like for the West Indies to get right in this game to stay alive in this series? I think West Indies got to take wickets in the middle. Um, but they got wickets at the top this time. But I think in, in all the games you're watching 50 over cricket now, wickets in the middle stun everything. And if they don't get wickets in the middle, especially we you have, you, we got Dhoni out early, but if you have wickets in hand and Dhoni is coming in the last 10 overs, he's very dangerous. So we need to get wickets early. All right. Many thanks, Phil Simmons. And many thanks to Ajit Agarkar. The third one-day international between India and the West Indies with the series set at 1-0 takes place in Pune. On... Thank you.